welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. First article, former Treasury officials positioned to shape fintech from private sector. The financial tech companies are snapping up former government officials as they seek to navigate the still-developing patchwork of regulations governing cryptocurrency and other financial technology. A handful of recent high-profile hires could signal a stronger role being played by the private sector in the evolution of those roles. Former top officials from the U.S. Treasury Department Office of Terrorism and Financial Intelligence, the department at the center of crafting regulations for domestic and international blockchain, and other crypto finance fields have taken positions at fintech powerhouse in recent months. These officials, including the former undersecretary who spearheaded new fintech rules at Treasury, are guiding product development as the government drafts overarching rules for a sector that promises to refashion global finance and commerce. So you can see they are trying to stay regulatory compliant so when regulatory clarity is available, they can move on seamlessly. Next article I'd like to discuss is the Congress to hold hearing on digital dollar options for the stimulus payments. And if you follow this channel, you know we've shared a lot of information from the U.S. President Donald Trump in regards to not wanting to use the old, antiquated, 40-year-old system that is broken to get the funds out to the people in need. He wanted to use the new system and have direct pay immediately. So as we get into the article, the House Financial Services Committee will be holding a hearing to discuss the use of digital tools to improve the delivery of stimulus payments and the Task Force on Financial Technology created along with the Task Force on Artificial Intelligence last year by Chairwoman Maxine Waters. A Democrat of California has responsibilities examining revisions to fintech regulation, including the legal and regulatory structure of consumer protections, the data privacy issues, and consumer engagement. Congressman Stephen Lynch, the Democrat of Massachusetts, who serves as a chair on the Fintech Task Force, will oversee a hearing this Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, titled Inclusive Banking During the Issue at Hand, Using Federal Accounts and Digital Tools to Improve Delivery of Stimulus Payments. So we know if this is going to happen, as the president has requested, then they're going to have to set up these digital accounts and digital wallets to receive these immediate payments. The Fed accounts is a term that originated from a bill introduced by Chairwoman Waters titled the Financial Protections and Assistant for America's Consumers, States, Businesses, and Vulnerable Populations Act. The H.R. 6321 calls for a digital dollar wallet, which the bill describes as an account maintained by a Federal Reserve Bank on behalf of any person that represents holdings in an electronic device or service that is used to store digital dollars that may be tied to a digital or physical identity. Me personally, the only issue I take with that is the section here where it says it is maintained by a Federal Reserve Bank on behalf of any person. Having a digital wallet that you're not in full control of means at any given point they could also turn it off. Back into the article, the terms of a digital dollar wallet include that it be prominently branded in all account statements, marketing materials, and other communications of the Federal Reserve Bank as a Fed account maintained by the member bank on behalf of the United States of America. Initially, this concept of a digital dollar was part of the CARES Act in a draft of the third stimulus package. However, the digital dollar did not make it into the final CARES Act. Since the introduction of H.R. 6321, there have been two additional bills, the Automatic Boost to Communities Act, ABC Act, by Congresswoman Rashida Talab, Democrat of Michigan, and Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, Democrat of Washington, and the Banking for All Act by Senator Sherrod Brown, Democrat of Ohio. Both bills discuss the idea of Fed accounts with a focus on digital dollars, more as a delivery mechanism for a benefit rather than an attempt to create a U.S. central bank digital currency. One of the witnesses will be J. Christopher Giancarlo, senior counsel at Wilkie Farr and Gallagher and former chairman of the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission. Giancarlo leads the Digital Dollar Project, which recently released a white paper explaining a champion model for what should be essential technical designs for a digital dollar. The hearing will definitely be interesting as both the chair and ranking member have a strong understanding of blockchain technology, 
as well as digital currencies. Recently, the Chairman Lynch introduced a bill where blockchain technology would be used to help ensure the strategic national stockpile and all 50 states would maintain enough PPE and emergency medical supplies. Ranking member Ember signed a letter along with other members of Congress urging the Treasury Secretary Mnuchin to consider using blockchain technology to help speed the distribution of stimulus checks for the issue at hand. And so I think... Overall, I mean, the time is here. The time has come. They need it. The entire global economy is collapsed and bankrupt. So if they're going to come back and re-stimulate the global economy, the only choice they have left to do is move into the new fourth industrial financial reset and move into the digital currencies. As we know, they can only print so much and they've printed nonstop for months during the issue at hand to try and create liquidity, but it's only further extended and kicking the can down the road, as they say. So the time is here, the time is now, and the discussion is at hand. So let's see where this goes. So thanks again, uh, New Creation Capital, for tagging me so I could discuss that in this video. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with a final thought. Our dreams come true if we have the courage to pursue them. And remember, this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Guys, hit that like and subscribe and share these videos. Much love to all of you. We'll catch you in the next one.